Hello, Wet Shavers. Welcome to the Soap Thing Project. If you are new to the project, I hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button today. So a few weeks ago, my sister Rebecca and her husband came down here from northern Michigan to spend Labor Day weekend with us here in the greater St. Louis area. They spent four days here and I took them to St. Louis to see the Gateway Arch and some other downtown uh, attractions and we also went to the Scott Air Force Base over on the Illinois side of the river and we went to the base exchange where I promptly found a shelf full of these. Body Shop Macaroon. So that'll be the uh, shave of the week for today is Body Shop Macaroon. This is a non-tallow based soap. It is 6.3 ounces and I'm quite certain I paid $13.60 for it over at Afy's. So I have the shaving soap and the matching aftershave. So that'll be the shaving soap and the aftershave for today. We're going to do our first shave with the Leaf Twig Razor. Right here. This is the regular one. This is not the thorn, the uh, aggressive version of it. It currently has a split Persona Platinum blade in it. So we're going to use those because those are my designated blades for trying out new razors. The brush is going to be this Cobalt Blue 24 millimeter synthetic from Cayenne Workshop. So let's get all this together and let's have a shave. Okay, here we have the soap in the bottom of the brand spanking new Langley City Shave Bowl. And here is the Body Shop Macaroot. It looks just like this. It is very, very loose. So quite a soft soap from Body Shop. And here we have the spray bottle and the brush. So let's do six. We will almost certainly need more, but we're just going to start with six. Oh yeah. Seven more sprays on there, and we're going to see what we come up with. Now, this is one of those soaps that uh, Mr. Chris Bailey over at IMCDB, he swears by this. He says this is very, very easy to get a satisfying and consistent lather out of it so and by the looks of it it looks to be coming together fairly quickly without a lot of trouble i'm gonna put just a little bit more in there the scent is projecting quite well i can smell it from 12 inches away all the way up here from uh, the bowl to my face I could sit here and swirl on this for a while, but I don't think that's terribly necessary. I think this is, I think we got a pretty good lather pretty quickly out of the uh, Body Shop Macaroon. So let's take all this and bring it to the face and do the shave. All right, two days growth today on the face. So why don't we take the Phoenix Shaving Ice Cube and put some mentholated pre-shave on the face. I'm burning through this thing. My my facial hair is just so abrasive. Plus, I probably use a little bit too much of it anyway. I could probably shave with this just as it is, and the shave would be perfectly fine. Now, Body Shop Macaroon. Send strength on this is a one out of three, low ascent strength. This Cayenne Workshop uh, Synthetic Knot is a little, uh, little floppy for my particular taste. Doesn't have a ton of backbone to it. 
but it gets the job done. <laughs> I'm getting lather everywhere. It's part of the course for the uh, soap thing project is getting lather just all over the place. Okay. Now, actually, I'm going to take some, put it up there on both sides. I always kind of don't lather up high enough on my sideburns. So let's take the twig razor, the Persona Platinum Blade, and see how this performs. I have a feeling it's going to be mild. A lot of people are saying this one's a little on the mild side. Here we go. And yes, I would say this is probably somewhat on the mild side. It is slightly blade feely, but not in any way that would concern me. Like I don't feel like, ooh, I better be careful. It's not like that. But it's definitely giving some, uh, some enjoyable feedback. Must have been from the uh, brush. And you know something, razors like these that take half DE blades, it kind of leaves an, uh, an interesting math question. So, on a normal double-edged razor, I'll tend to use the blade three times and then toss it. Rather than roll the dice with a dull blade and get like razor burn and ingrown hairs and that sort of thing. But with this one, since I'm splitting it in half, does that mean I now get six shaves out of a blade? I would doubt it. I would think that this will probably last two shaves, maybe? I'll have to shave with it during the week and see how much performance I can get with with one half of a DE blade. Okay, let's do another pass. This stuff is perfectly slick enough. It's got a good scent. Seems to be well hydrated, at least I think so. But slickness and protection is very good, especially for the price. This being kind of a bargain soap. But I don't exactly have the, uh, the highest standards when it comes to uh, shaving soap. I mean, I'd shave with motor oil if it was slick enough. That's probably a recipe for cancer, so I wouldn't recommend it. Now, a while ago, I was gifted the, uh, the Razor Rock Echo. Echo, Eco, whatever it's called. Uh, by Mr. Jerez, a supporter of the channel. And I used that a few times off camera. And I found it to be a little too blade feely. I can make it work, but I gotta be careful. It's definitely not an autopilot shave. And I'm not sure this is either, but this is closer to an autopilot shave than the Razor Rock Echo is, in my opinion. Oh, let's see. Just a little bit longer. If I can get through this shave without getting a nick, it'll be, uh, a 
video for the Wall of Fame on uh, the Soap Theme Project. Because <laughs> I tend to get nicks all the time. closer. Uh, what else we got back here a little bit? It's really easy to find the uh, approach angle with this. Like you don't have to do a lot of uh, strokes to sort of figure out your angle. It's pretty intuitive. I'm very impressed with the build quality of this. I figured for uh, for 55 bucks, which is what I paid for it. I'd be getting something that's very Merker 34C like. That's a uh, chrome plated zinc, chrome plated brass maybe, but I'm not I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like it's a a bit higher quality than that. So one thing I will complain about with this razor is that when you open it, open it on the bottom to get the blade out, when it comes back down on the blade, it's not always perfectly centered. I'm not sure how you would fix that without machining it at a level that's far more expensive. And it's not that big of a deal. You just got to make sure it's aligned. Look at it. Make sure it's aligned uh, when you clamp it down. I'm about done with the shape, so why don't I just show you. So, if you haven't seen other videos, it comes open like so. And then it rotates to the side so you can get the blade out. But then when it comes back down, it's not always perfectly centered. And I noticed that earlier when I was uh, off camera, when I was putting the, the blade in it, that it was kind of off to the side just slightly. Does that affect uh, the quality of the shave? I don't know. And at this price point, I'm not too worried about it. If this was a $100 razor, I'd be like, come on now. Uh, but you get what you pay for, and it's a uh, felt like a satisfying shave. So let's move on to the alum block and see if that's true. Okay, time for the Omega Ellen Block Report Card. So I noticed that I uh, forgot to talk about the scent character of the Body Shop Macaroon. Well, there's not much to tell. It uh, is lightly scented. I get mostly aloe is the scent character that I'm getting out of it. It smells a lot like aloe. It actually, think the gel you get from the drugstore after you've got a sunburn, that burn gel, it kind of smells like that. It's a really pleasant scent, but it's mostly just aloe scent for me. And it looks like right down here is irritation, right over here, and that's about it. So it does appear that under the chin and on this side of my mouth was the trouble spots for today. But there's no nicks, so that's a good sign for the Soap Thing project. And that'll be the Ellen Block Report card for today. Okay, time for the Body Shop Macaroot Aftershave. This might be uh, pretty thick. Let me see here. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> look, at, look at that, yeah. Like, I can't believe I just mentioned uh, burn gel earlier in the video and I have never opened this before and it looks exactly like burn gel look at that. that's funny okay <laughs> all right let's get it on the face Ooh, smells just like the soap and it's got this kind of goopy consistency to it just like the the aloe based uh, sunburn gel <laughs> that's <laughs> that's funny okay so first and foremost where to go my final thoughts on the leaf twig razor 
So at the moment, uh, I like this and it's going to stick around for a while. If you are trying to stretch your double-edged blades even further, this is probably one way to do it. Uh, because you're not using, let me get this together, this uh, Razor Rock Lupo, it's been sitting around for a minute. Because you're not using both sides at once, you don't have to deal with this and then flip it around and then, so none of that. So it's easier to use in that regard. I am fairly impressed with the construction quality, build quality of this. And it's relatively mild. There's just a touch of blade feel and it was a satisfying shave. What else can you say about it? So that'll be the razor. And my final thoughts on Body Shop Macaroo. If I exhausted this to an empty tub, would I buy it again? That's my usual question. And with this one, oh. Probably not, just because I don't find it that interesting. There's nothing wrong with it. It performs great. The scent is okay. I, I've just got other fish to fry. Like, um, I'm so far down the rabbit hole that this is just like, eh, I could take it or leave it. And when I could take it or leave it, I usually leave it. So probably what I'll relegate this to is this seems like a very good candidate for if I have somebody that comes in locally like a friend a family member a co-worker who wants to try traditional shaving this will probably be something i lend out to them and say here give it a try use it all you want uh get to know the the razor and the lathering process and see how it works for you so that'll be what this gets relegated to again there's nothing wrong with it i just don't find it that interesting so that'll be the uh shave for today. I want to thank everybody for watching and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, as always, shave like you mean it. Thanks for watching.